Welcome. Okay. So, hello everyone. Our topic for this week is all about representations of rational functions. Katuloy lang ito ng week 2 kasi ang rational function is good for 2 weeks. Okay, so dito na muna tayo. Representations of rational function. So, dito, meron tayong problem. Average speed or velocity can be computed by the formula S is equal to D over T. Consider 100 meter track used for foot races. The speed of a runner can be computed by taking the time it will take him to run the track and applying it to the formula S is equal to 100 over T. So, ang 100 na to, ito yung given na meter kasi nga ang speed or velocities na ko compute ng distance over time since meter it pertains to distance and t sa time kaya t over time since the distance is fixed at 100 meters okay so letter a represent the speed of a runner as a function of the time it takes to run 100 meters in the trap so let x observe that is similar function, ganito lang din. Ganito siya kapag function. Ito yung sagot kapag function. S of x is equal to 100 over x. Paras lang din sa speed is equal to distance over time. Okay. So, continuing the scenario above, construct a table of values for the speed of a runner against different run of times. Ito. So, gagawa raw tayo ng tables para ma-represent natin yung function. Okay. So, ito yung function natin. Okay, highlight natin para makita. Ito yung function natin. S of x is equal to 100 over x. Now, dito, wala tayong, wala munang sagot dito. Okay? So, kukunin pa lang natin. So, paano yung gawin? Ang x, mag-assign lang tayo kung ano yung mga values ni x na gusto natin. So, since meron nang nakaplat dito, Merong, merong seconds na 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, substitute lang natin dun sa function natin. Okay? So, unahin natin si 10. S of 10 is equal to 100 over 10. So, ang sagot natin dyan is equal to 10 lang din. Kaya kung mapapansin natin dito, 10 ang sagot natin dito. And then, ang next is 12. So, ganun lang din. 100 divided by 12. So, ganun lang nangyari. Kaya kung titignan natin dito, 100 divided by 12, okay, please prepare your calculator, is equal to 8.33. So, so, so on and so forth. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Kaya, ganito nakuha ang S of X natin. So, from the table, we can observe that the speed decreases with the time. Nababawasan. Ang ibig sabihin ng decrease is nababawasan. We can use the graph to determine the points. Okay? So, gagawa daw tayo ng graph. So, Ito graph natin, ito si x, ito si y. So, ba kapag sa Cartesian plane, meron tayong value ni x and y. x and y. So, si x, etong mga given na time na to, siya ang magsisilbing yung x coordinate natin. And then, yung nakuha nating speed, yun yung magsisilbing y natin. ba ganito ang Cartesian plane, ito si x, ito si y. So, kung i-graph natin si 10, 10, for example, that's just assume na andito si 10, and then andito si 10, kaya andito yung 10, 10. ba This side is for positive numbers, and this side is for negative numbers. Huwag malilito doon. Okay, ito si x, eto si y. Kasi baka may nalilito pa sa graphing. And then, let's just plot all the points. Kaya, ang nangyari, ganito siya. Nung plinat na, assuming lang, eto si A, eto si B, C, D, 
Ina, yan na yung figure natin na plot na siya so by connecting the points we can see that they are not collinear but rather follow a smooth curve ba diba sabi nga dito habang pataas ang pataas ang time na sinasubstitute natin okay, sabi dito yung decrease decrease okay so habang pataas ang pataas yung mga yung time na yon na decrease ang speed natin okay so next one graphing rational functions so dito medyo tricky lang siya kailangan nating i-memorize lahat ng mga kailangan nating i-memorize para dito sa graphing rational function okay so graphing rational functions domain ayan domain is the function is the set of all values that a variable x can take. Ito yung lahat ng values ni x na kaya niya. And then, si range, range of a function is the set of all values that f of x can take. So, ito, x lang. Ito, f of x. So, zeros, zeros of a function are the values of x which make the function zero. Y-intercept is the function value when x is equal to zero. So, ganito. Ito ang kailangan nyong i-memorize. Okay? Paki-memorize. How to find the domain? Paano ba natin kukunin si domain? Ang sabi dito, find all x values which do not make the denominator zero. So, hanapin daw natin lahat na values ni x which is dapat hindi maging equal sa zero ang denominator natin. So, let's have a review. For example, we have a fraction here. Ano ang tawag dito sa taas? Numerator, di ba? And then, yung nasa baba, which is P, we call that as denominator. So, if we can notice here, domain must not be, or the, yung fraction natin, yung denominator ng fraction natin, is hindi dapat mag-equal sa, Zero. So, yun. Ulitin ko ang domain. Please take note of this. Dapat may notebook at lapis kay John or ball pen. Ang domain, lahat na values ni x, which is dapat yung denominator, hindi mag-equal kay zero. And then, paano naman natin ko rin si y-intercept? Kung ang zero is wala sa domain, then there is no y-intercept. Kung ang 0 ay kabilang siya sa domain, isa si 0 sa mga x, then there is the value of the function at x is equal to 0. Okay? Laging tatandaan. Kapag si 0 is wala sa domain, wala siya sa mga x, um, walang y-intercept. Pero kapag nakasali siya, meaning meron siyang y-intercept. How about naman kay x-intercept? So, find the values of x where the numerator is 0 but denominator is non-zero. Okay, so dapat, balik tayo dun sa fraction, si a over v, kukunin natin yung x-intercept kapag ano yung isa-substitute natin sa numerator natin to make it 0. So, ganon. So, vertical asymptotes, find the values of x where the denominator of the reduced rational function is 0. The line x is equal to a is a vertical asymptote. So, yun, dapat um, yung denominator natin, equate natin siya kay 0. Paano ba natin gagawing 0 si vertical asymptotes? So, what do you mean by asymptotes? Ang asymptotes, for example, we have a bell, cur bell curve here. Okay? So, I think second semester you will have a statistics and probability subject. Ma-encounter natin ang bell curve. So, assume that this is a perfect curve. And then, anong napapansin ninyo? Meron tayong line dito. Okay. Linawin ko yung drawing ko dito. Meron tayong line dito which is parang bell. And then, kanyan siya. So, ang ibig sabihin ng asymptote Etong line na to, magmi-meet na sana sila, konting-konti na lang, magmi na sana sila nung line na to, pero hindi. Kumbaga, parang pinagtagpo, pero hindi talaga sila tinaghana. Okay, ganun ang asymptote. Ganito siya kalala. 
So, konting-konti na lang mula dito, papalapit ng papalapit sa isa't isa, pero hinding-hindi sila mag-mimit. Never silang mag-mimit. Okay? Never. 0% na, hin na yung percentage na mag-mimit sila is 0%. Okay, so, sa horizontal asymptotes, eto, ang N natin, okay, So, let n be the degree of the numerator and m be the denominator. Okay? So, meron tayong a over b. Si a, ito yung n natin. And then, si b, ito yung m. If n is less than m, kung mas malaki daw, kung mas malaki si denominator, ang horizontal asymptote natin is y is equal to 0. Ngayon, kung parehas si n at m, ang ibig sabihin nun, is y is equal to a or v, where a is coefficient of the numerator and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. Ang coefficient natin, I will explain it to you later, and then if n is greater than m, there is no horizontal asymptote. Okay, ulitin natin, kapag mas malaki sa denominator, there is no horizontal or yung horizontal asymptote natin is 0. Kapag equal naman yung denominator natin at yung numerator natin, equate natin sila na y is equal to a or b, and then yung a or b na to, ito yung coefficient ng mga numerator or denominator natin. If n is greater than m, then there is no horizontal asymptote. Okay, range. Grab the function. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so example number 1, the function f of x is equal to x minus 2 over x plus 2. Find its domain, intercepts, asymptotes, and sketch its graphs, and determine its range. So, let's just focus on the domain first. Domain. The domain of f of x is to set our field numbers not equal to negative 2. Bakit? Kasi ang domain dapat sa domain, balik tayo, domain, ang denominator dapat hindi mag-equal siya kay 0. So, ano ba yung, ba diba, meron tayong x minus 2? And then, meron tayong x plus 2. Ayan. Meron tayong x minus 2, meron tayong x plus 2. Ito yung f of x natin. Ngayon, dapat si denominator kunin natin yung values na mag-equal sa kanya sa 0. Kasi, ba diba sabi natin, dapat hindi mag-equal si 0. Yun yung exempted dun sa lahat ng x. Okay? So, kung equate natin dito, kung equate natin si x minus 2, x is equal to 2. Ngayon, kung equate natin si positive 2x plus 2, x is equal to negative 2. So, ito yung exemption natin. So, the domain of f of x is the set of real numbers not equal to negative 2. Okay? Dapat hindi natin hahayang maging 0 ang denominator natin. Kaya, inuunahan na natin yung exempted. Ano yung value ni x na exempted sa lahat ng function na pwede natin o sa lahat o na dapat hindi maging 0 si denominator. So, equit lang natin yung denominator, kaya x is equal to negative 2. So, x is an element of, ito, ito na yung sagot natin. x is element of all real numbers such that x may not be equal to negative 2. Okay, so, yun yung domain natin. Ito yung sagot. Lahat ng real numbers, basta hindi equal kay negative 2. Okay, next one. The x-intercept of f of x is 2 and its y-intercept is negative 1. So, meron na tayong sagot dito. So, paano ba yun nakuha? Ulitin natin, ang x-intercept natin, dapat ang numerator is 0. So, meron tayo kanina... Sulat lang natin ulit, x minus 2, x plus 2. Ano yung isa-substitute natin kay x para maging 0 ito? Isa-substitute natin dyan is 2. Okay? Kasi nga, kung 2 minus 2 is equal to 
zero. So, yun lang. Parang gagawin lang natin zero yung numerator natin. Okay? Ito yung numerator, ha? Ito yung denominator. Okay? So, sa letter B, or sa x-intercept, nakuha na natin. And then, paano naman si y-intercept? Lagi yung tatandaan, ang y-intercept in, natin equates si zero. So, Explanation, recall that the x-intercept of irrational functions are the values of x that will make the function 0. Irrational function will be 0 if its numerator is 0. Diba yung topic natin last week? Um, if 0 ang numerator natin, ed nag-over tayo ng 2, 0 dyan. And then, for example, ang denominator natin is 0. Ang tawag dyan is, ano ang ulit tawag dyan? Undefined. Okay, so equate lang natin into... Zero. Ganon lang yung, ganon, ganon lang kasimple. So, equate natin to, nakuha natin kanina, 2. Diba? So, 2 minus 2 over x plus 2, 0, 4. So, therefore, x is equal to 2 is a 0 of f of x. Since it is real 0, it is also an x-intercept. So, paano nakuha yung y-intercept? Si y-intercept, nakuha natin kapag sinabsitute natin, yung 0 sa lahat ng x. Kaya naging 0 minus 2 and then 0 plus 2 is equal to negative 2 over 2 is equal to negative 1. Kaya nakuha si y-intercept. Okay? Parang in-equate lang natin si 0, sinabsitute natin sa 0 sa x nung functions na given. Okay, next one, vertical and horizontal asymptote. So, ulitin ko ang asymptote, um, konting-konti na lang, magmimit na sila, pero hindi talaga. So, vertical asymptote, so, paano ba natin makukuha ang vertical asymptote? Dapat ang denominator natin must be equal to zero. So, find the values of x where the denominator of the reduced fra rational function is Zero. Ayan, hanapin natin. Ano sa substitute natin kay x para maging zero ito? Si negative 2, which is yung, yung kabalik tarang sign. Kasi positive to, kaya yung sa substitute natin is negative. Kasi kung pagsasamayin natin yan, negative 2 plus 2, or kung babalik ta rin natin, 2 minus 2 is equal to zero. Kaya, the denominator x plus 2 will be 0 at x is equal to negative 2. Therefore, the vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 2. Ganun lang kasimple yun. So, sa horizontal asymptote, ayan, the polynomial in the numerator and denominator have equal degree. Di ba yung degree, kapag kunwari, meron tayong exponent, ang tawag dito sa power niya is degree. Okay. Ang tawag dito sa power nung, kunwari, 4 raised to 3. Ang degree niya is 3. Okay? So, the polynomial in the numerator and denominator have equal degree. Kasi, x lang to. Si x, automatic may raised to 1. Kaya, x raised to 1. Kaya, the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is x minus 2, a is equal to 1. 1 siya kasi yung exponent niya is 1. The leading coefficient of the numerator b is also 1 kasi raised to 1 lang yan. Mampano kung x is square. So, ang the leading coefficient niya is 2. Ganun lang kasimple. So, therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1 over 1. Mampano nangyari to? Balikan natin ang rules. Okay? So, kung parehas sila ng degree, diba, dito, balikan natin para hindi nalilito kapag parehas sila ng degree, equate natin y is equal to a over b ano ba yung a at b? 1 kasi 1 ang exponent nung dalawang x, kaya 1 over 1 is equal to 1 ganun lang kasimple kumuha ng horizontal asymptote okay, next one sketch the graph let's sketch the graph okay, so ganyan na siya eto si x na, eto si x, eto si y. Ngayon, ang nakuha nating horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1. And then, ang nakuha nating vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 2. Ayan, eto yung mga y-intercept natin. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, from the graph of the rational function, we observe that the function does not cross. 
okay, does not cross the horizontal asymptote. We also observe that the function increases and decreases without bond, bound and is asymptomatic to the line y is equal to 1. Ayan, hinding-hindi sila magmimit. Ayan, ang ibig sabihin ng asymptote. Ito o, oh, yung parang pagitan nila, konting-konti nila, pero hindi talaga magmimit. Okay, so, therefore, only the value 1 is not included in the range of f of x. The range f of x is negative infinity 1, and then union 1 to positive infinity. Okay. Okay, next one. Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 and then find its domain and range. So, the solution, the domain of the function is all the values of x, not including those where the function is undefined. Therefore, the domain f of x is the set negative 8, negative 4, union negative 4, 1 half, union 1 half is positive to infinity. So, the numerator and denominator of f of x can be factored as ito. Na-factor na natin to. I-factor out lang natin. So, paano ba mag-factor? You can use the quadratic formula. Okay? So, dapat alam nyo nang mag-factor out nito ha. Kasi, grade 7 to 10, dapat alam nyo na yan. So, we also obtain that y intercept ayan substitute natin si 0 0 0 negative 3 ayan 3 fourth and then x intercept or zeros is eto si x is 1 third x is equal to 0 x is equal to 3 x is equal to 1 half x is equal to negative 1 fourth so, ito, the horizontal asymptote, the polynomials in the numerator and denominator have equal degree. The horizontal asymptote is the ratio, uh, ratio of the leading coefficients y is equal to 3 halves. So, ganun lang ka siya kasimple. So, yun lang kung may tanong, magtanong lang. So, dapat napanood nyo na tong video. And then, kapag meeting na natin, dapat alam nyo na yung sinasabi ninyo or tinatanong ninyo kung saan yung hindi nyo na gets. Okay? So, have a nice day everyone. Goodbye and thank you for watching.